rights icon Nina Simone is being honored in her North Carolina hometown. Her childhood home in Tryon was named a national treasure. 7 News' Jennifer Martin shows us why. When you're young, gifted as the sounds of the late Nina Simone once again filled her childhood home in Tryon Tuesday. Nina Simone is in many ways the voice of the American Civil Rights Movement. Though it looks to be in peril of crumbling, there is hope yet for this historic home where a legend was born. This small three bedroom house was not only where Nina Simone was born, but it's where she first started showing signs of having a true talent in music. Her youngest sister, Frances Wayman Fox, can vouch for that. Now she started humming tunes at 18 months. That was the first um, notice of her musical ability. Of course, her family knows her as Eunice Wayman since she adopted the stage name Nina Simone as a disguise while playing what her parents called the devil's music. Because she could have a lot of fun. She could have a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of people don't know that. Less than 700 square feet, Simone was raised here with her parents and five siblings. There was a lot of love in these walls. It was also here in Tryon that she first took a stand for civil rights at the age of 10 during a piano recital. Our parents were sitting up front and they were moved to the back. Blacks couldn't sit up front and she refused to play if her parents couldn't be up on that front row. In 2017, new owners purchased the house to protect it, and now the National Trust for Historic Preservation has announced it is a national treasure. It's where we partner with communities to save places that are often in peril and that are in need of preservation solutions. There are many possibilities for the home's new future. Open to the public and having this to be a space for creating new art. All aimed towards developing a stronger community. Americans should feel empowered to follow in her footsteps and understand that if Nina Simone is able to accomplish and create such a legacy, they can too. Frances says her sister would be delighted. She'd love it because she'd feel like she'll live on to eternity. In Tryon, I'm Jennifer Martin. Nina Simone won four Grammys and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. The National Trust has allotted the next 18 months for research and development to find the best use for her childhood home. Some of the possibilities include public tours and an artist residency program. It's five.